right, what's up, everyone? Uh, welcome, uh, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, this is good. This is the same day from the other video with the, the rack install, but we're gonna mess with these. Uh, have some ditch lights. So got Baja Design. Gonna try to slap these in quick. Goes uh, hood corners of the hood. Let me see. Let me show you the brackets. Right, these are the brackets I got. Um, I actually forgot what company they were from. I think they were C CBI maybe, CBI Designs. Um, pretty affordable brackets. Uh, actually, hold up. There's a CBI uh, ditch light, ditch light brackets. Uh, I'm gonna try to slap these in quick. Uh, brackets should go on one, two, three. Um, the light should be too bad because you just gotta um, run a couple things to the fuse box and then somehow get your uh, switch inside. So. Let's start messing with this. Hood is gonna wind up moving. They get slick and not take the bolts completely out, but then I uh, realized you had to take them completely out, so just uh, don't drop your hood. You're taking your uh hood bolts out just make sure when you close the hood you do it nice and slow just in case it's shifted there you go didn't shift that much all right so uh, let's check out the lights got some uh, brackets one night Two lights. Harness is probably to jump from that side to that side. Is what I assume. Uh, we got the other harness over there. Looks like they gave some uh, extra plugs, maybe extra clips. But uh, let's get this thing bolted together. Then we're gonna bolt it onto the brackets, and then we'll start wiring. So uh, get that out of the way. Might actually have to bolt them onto the bracket first. That's what it kind of looks like. Right, let's do the other side. Oh god, I dropped one. So they give you some hardware. What it's gonna get is a little Allen head, a little lock, lock washery thing, then. This goes on the bracket, holds it onto the bracket. So, I'm gonna throw those on quick. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me. This is a four millimeter Allen. Uh, I'll show you when we're done here. All right, we got them bolted up. Let's see what they look like. Um, this is just in there, not wired or anything, but uh, let's check it out quick. Nice. Definitely just have to uh, adjust. Not bad though. Probably just want them nice, nice and straight. We'll worry about that after we get them all wired up, but not bad, not bad. So uh, those look pretty badass. Uh, got this harness, I'm gonna connect the two to each other and then we're gonna worry about running that other harness because we gotta find a hole in the firewall somewhere. Try to find a hole in the firewall to send the switch through, then it's just connect to the battery. I think we're done, so uh, let's do this. Uh, just gonna try to figure out a way to make it nice and neat. Uh, don't know if it's gonna happen. I might need some like double stick tape or like something, but for now it's gonna work. And then we could always go back with something that sticks on to hold the wires nice and tight. Let me uh, plug these in. Uh, by the way, I'm just doing handheld today and 
just trying to rest you like in the engine bay in random spots so it's kind of hard to see uh but it's getting there we're getting there we're doing it together So now that these lights are uh, bolted up nicey nice, uh, just got to figure out a spot to get this uh, wire through. Uh, uh, that's really bright. Um, I know there's a, for the hood is coming out right there. I don't know if I could slide something through there. Um, that might be my best bet. So I'm gonna, gonna work on getting that first. Um, We'll try. It's probably gonna be a pain in the ass. That was, that was the most annoying thing I've ever done in my life. But wire is through, got them right here. Um, a little bit more. Now we just gotta hook up the stuff in the under the hood and then we can test them out. This end, um, I just got that plug that's got to get plugged into that over there, positive and negative, should be done. Simple as that. All right, so uh, these are gonna be as it is because these wires are a little, sh slightly too short for that to go across. But uh, I mean, they they reach, so that I guess they're not slightly too short, but they're not long enough. Um, Sent the wire through the grommet for the hood pull um, latch. Very annoying. It was slightly on the small side and it made it really annoying. But uh, switch, uh, gonna leave the switch kind of just like in no man's land for now until I figure out a spot I want it. Um, I'll just zip tie it up out of the way. Uh, I guess let's close the hood and test it out. Very simple, just uh, power and ground. Not completely sure how these are gonna yeah. oh, my garage is in shambles, uh, patio furniture, interior of my 240, Sport rack. Uh, anyway, install, super simple. Uh, basically anyone could do it. Uh, my only suggestion is maybe find a different grommet to try to feed the wires through, or um, you could always cut the wires, send them in, then re-splice them. Might be easier also. Uh, that, gram that grommet I found was slightly too small. It was a pain in the ass. But anyway, went super simple. As you saw, it was just a power and a ground. Uh, power and a ground. When it came down to it, lights are on. Lights look awesome. It's getting dark out. Uh, when it gets really dark, maybe I'll take another, uh, do another video just to see how it is. Thanks for joining me on this super simple, quick video. Uh, subscribe for more content. Uh, oh, one thing. These are the these are the lights that were on the sport bar on the back. I might try to put them in the grill. Uh, usually, people run like a. Uh, Usually people run like a 32 inch, I think, or 30 inch, and they put it across the grill. I might try to use both of those as like one on each side. Uh, we'll see, I might get around to that. I still have the OEM button for the rack, and I know where all the wiring is to that, so I could just wire it to that, and then I have the button in the dash ready. I will find a better spot for, the, for that button that's on there. Um, I didn't feel like drilling into anything right now until I, because I want to figure out where I want the button first that makes sense the most. So uh, I'll get around to doing that. Um, once again, thanks for joining me. Subscribe for more content. Got more 240 content coming up. Uh, another truck mod that I have. Uh, well, I guess that also. So I guess two truck mods that I have. Uh, more to come. So thanks for joining me. Uh, Off-road stuff, truck stuff, and yeah, truck life. All right, so obviously dark enough out. All right, so this is just headlights. And now let's throw these lights on. I can find a switch where I put it. Wow. Yeah, that Big difference.
it's on. Uh, where's my switch? Off. Just headlights. These are LED headlights, by the way. Headlights. And... Ditch lights. Looks good.